What's up guys, Branko here, so Nectar icons, let's go! We will be showcasing project-based icons on the upper left side of the Nectar, helper icons on the lower left side, as well as toolset icons on the right side of the Nectar workspace. Let's focus on the project-based icons for now. Home icon will obviously pop up homepage of the Nectar Studio. Okay, code icon. This is the factor and editor in which you design, you write your C program. If, for example, you want to add some library into your project, you will be modifying a CMake file. We will talk about CMake in depth in future, so don't worry too much if you do not understand this. Build icon. By clicking on it, you will initiate a rather complex under the hood process of examining all the project files you've created. Guys, I have two side notes over here. So first one would be project building is always being done in parallel, which is kind of cool. And the second one would be I personally like utilizing keyboard shortcuts as much as it's possible because it makes me more productive. So keyboard shortcut for building the project is control B for Windows and Linux OS and command B for Mac OS. Flash icon. This is it guys. This is how you program the microcontroller. You tell it what actions to perform. Keyboard shortcut for flashing the microcontroller is control P. Sim icon, debugging, but a simulation of it. For example, you will be able to check algorithm logic of your program, but you will not be able to inspect current register values of a microcontroller you are currently working with. Keyboard shortcut for simulator, shift F9. Debug icon, hardware debugging or finding and subsequently wiping out errors in your source code on the actual physical microcontroller. Trust me, you will be using this feature a lot, so it would be wise to speed things up by utilizing F9 on your keyboard. Design icon. Clicking on design icon will pop up interface which gives you opportunity to develop GUI apps for microcontrollers. After each opening of Nectar Studio, you will have some of the project based icons grayed out. Totally normal because you haven't opened a project yet. We will talk about Nectar Studio projects in the following videos. Now we will be focusing on the icons on the bottom left side of a workspace. Web icon opens up a web page from which, for example, you can explore potential product for your future embedded project. Help icon. Clicking on help icon redirects you to Nectar Studio help page, which we already discussed in the previous episode. The link to this video will be in the description down below. Now let's shift to the other side of the workspace. In order to get all the cool tools and features of Nectar Studio in one place, switch to code section of a Nectar and you will be able to see all of them stacked together on the right side of the Nectar. Keyboard shortcuts to activate these tools, control plus number on keyboard. Project Explorer icon, it gives you an insight and overview of your currently open project within the Project Explorer. Library Manager icon, by selecting it you will be able to manage libraries for the projects being done. Debugger icon, opens up a debugger window from which you will be able to analyze for example variables or register values or deal with breakpoints. Code Explorer icon, searching for the main function, locating variables for currently selected file could be done within the Explorer. Search result icon, to illustrate this, quickly find and analyze the definitions of a development board you're currently on. Planet Debug icon. Okay, this is a good one. If you want to learn how to program or how embedded stuff is actually working, Planet Debug could be your friend. Okay, on to the next one. Package Manager icon. These are basically software libraries with practical examples for clickboards. What is a clickboard? What is a clickboard? This is by far the biggest add-on board collection in the world. You can check it out, really. Tools icon. Basic toolset for embedded developer professionals. AI question and answering assistant. Ask some embedded question that is bothering you, select some filters and you'll be provided with possible answers. Okay guys, I'll be talking about all of those Nectar tools and features in details in the subsequent episodes. Thanks for watching, catch you with the next one.